Hey guys, this is Tokyo Tony calling official King Fan and Sean Davey out on a few things. She said, first of all, she never stole any money from Jaguar. And she went on to talk about this bond that she offered a month before they started this GoFundMe. And she said, King Payne told her that a lawyer don't want her out of jail. And anywho, let's listen to what she has to say. It's a peculiar situation where she said she offered to pay the bond, but official King Payne didn't want her to pay the bond because he said the lawyer don't want her out of jail. And then he started this GoFundMe. He wanted, when he hit 1100 he wanted more money because he said that's not enough. And then he told Tokyo Tony it was 1100 for the bond. So there's a big discrepancy. Things are not adding up. And this is why people always call these folks scammers. Let's take a listen. Yeah. Everybody was watching Jaguar right for five years. Talk about celebrities, other celebrities back it up. She say shit. All the big platforms pick it up. She talked about celebrities. But when they start talking about her and the weird shit that start happening, how what happened, I still don't know. How can you come from a sane person? to fucking practically insane overnight. They have manipulated her brain so fucking much on David that she said they said I was stealing her dollars. I had to go back and remember every time I ever said give her something, she was on the line with me. I never did nothing and she wasn't right there. Ever. So I had to show them the cash out. In the middle of those dollars, I was sending her my own money to say, get lunch, get dinner at $50 a pop. When I found out Jay Walbright had a bond and all that, I was, I, I, look, I was like over here with it. She was talking to them two the niggas. I told her, leave them up, the niggas alone. I do niggas Sean Jay Walbright. Niggas are suck dick, do creepy shit sometimes when it comes to another piece of bitch. It just be that way sometimes, you know. So I'm like, I don't want that weird ass a little bitch. None of them weird hoes you had to f around you, bro. You don't bring no new pussy to the house. A bitch that fucking the bitch know how to suck a dick. You don't bring that shit home. And you can say he ain't tempted now. Two drinks in a sad moment. He getting his dick slobbed down, butt naked on the bathroom floor. So I take that to mean Tokyo Tony advised Jaguar not to let Legina in her house because she got a man at home. But she brought Legina in and Tokyo said that was one of the problems in Jaguar's life. She allowed this grown woman to come into her midst. Yeah, pretty much. Now, that R. Kelly shit was, as Jaguar said, she wanted a good story. Why don't, why don't y'all just return the people their money? When you knew, King Payne, y'all knew that I was going to get that girl out. That shit ain't no money. Crazy. And they found out it was 1100 That's when he told me, so it's 1100 So you don't have to pay 2000 When y'all allowed, I'm talking to King Payne, all your Sean, suck a dick way around his way, uh, a drink up to come any day, you know, um, and whoever else that just blogged that girl name out, y'all are the reason why she's locked the fuck up, let me let it out, y'all the reason why she locked up, had y'all not put her on y'all platform, constantly knowing, knowing what she's saying is psychotic. But y'all allow her to belittle herself after you realize something's not right. You still continue to allow her on your platform. And it's for people that like to see a train wreck. I didn't even, I don't look at that shit. When I, 
I hadn't talked to that lady. I mean, the last time, let me say the last time, I, I, before she went to jail, the first time was whatever, from the police station. I ain't talked to her, Shawty, after that type of shit. I fed her family. Sean David, where I'm not giving her nothing. Her and Gina scammed everybody. That's some other shit. You talking, you making up stories. You know? When I just say friend. When friends say she got 45 million in the bank, why you can't get to it, son? And then you say the mafia after you. I'm like, Jack, I'm like, if you put people name in your shit and it starts waking up the dead and shit like that, it becomes a problem in real life on real shit when you do that. These bloggers are men. Go sweat by your brow, dog. Get your pretty motherfucking polished nails a little dirty. Bitches do it all day. And still come back, fuck they man and play. Okay? Y'all motherfucking niggas, all these bitches in the world, y'all motherfucking dick sucking motherfuckers keep saying my motherfucking name, whole bitch. I told you I will make you niggas suck your own dicks. You keep playing with me. Go to jail and see what happened. No, everybody has demons in their life. No. No, I hear you. That's true. That's a, a gateway, but that's not. No, no. She has a problem with narcissism. She wants to see herself on TV. She's obsessed with fucking blogs. She obsessed with being talked about. She obsessed with watching the numbers. She obsessed with 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 the algorithms. That was the problem, and they saw that problem, bro. They and they they benefited off that. I'm like, stay off the blog, Shawty. I'm going to look out for you. I'm pay for your room. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. Don't come on them blogs. Go eat. Go relax. I got you. Over and over and over. She's just obsessed with being online. I told her that. And they know it. Look at her now. You're in jail and still online with these dogs talking shit about the bitch that's going to help you. And the only bitch that's still going to help her because I know you meant to know. When these niggas fade off and find the next bitch to get at, uh. I'm still going to help. She going to be in there for how long? Who going to stick around that bitch that long? You forget about her in three weeks, bitch. But karma is a bitch. Bitch, how am I not going to ride when I'm the one who called them? They the ones that this broke. I ain't got no money problems. I would have never said nothing. I didn't say nothing all this time because I didn't know. I didn't know they did a GoFundMe. Let's talk about it. I offered King Payne the money before I knew about a GoFundMe. Well over a month ago. He said, the lawyer said, don't, she, they don't want her out. I said, what kind of shit is that? What kind of lawyer is that? Well, won't you stay in jail? I'm like, no, nah, man. He was like, I'm telling you, don't, there's nothing we can do. And I'm like, Ugh. I was like, all right, just let me know what's up. I remember sitting in the tub talking, hung up. A week later, I look, I, Go for me, Jaguar, right? Wait, but did I ask to pay for that shit a month ago? So, guys, you heard her saying she offered a month ago before the GoFundMe came out, and King Payne said the lawyer told him to leave her in jail. They don't want her out. That don't sound right. Sounds like he wanted to do a fundraising. That's what that sounds like. Make some money out of the situation. And now he's trying to throw Tokyo Tony under the bus. Like if we don't have two eyes to see what's going on. That's why people say he's a scammer. So Tokyo Tony said when she was told that they're going to let her stay in jail, she says, okay, I'm going to get her out. After she thought about it, because she said it didn't sit right with her to let this woman sit in the jail. When these people collecting GoFundMe money, the law is telling them let her sit there. She said, that is, that's not right. Now, that doesn't sound right to me. 
no lawyer is going to say let her sit there. Not when they can post bond and they collecting money for bond. It, nothing makes sense here. I'm sure if someone was to call the lawyer's office up, the lawyer is going to say he didn't say that. Or she. Going to say she didn't say that. They just made it up to get money out of public. I mean, there's nothing wrong in fundraising and raising money and asking the public to contribute, donate, go fund me, etc. But it's how you go about it. Lying on the lawyer to say the lawyer said let her sit in jail when Tokyo, Tokyo Tony said she had the money to put up and you guys refused to take the money because you wanted to fundraise and get more money from the public. Where did they do that at? I said, I'm going to put on my credit card. Is exactly what I said. So I put on my credit card. I said, let me call. I also offered the bail man another thousand dollars. I was like, maybe another thousand dollars because that takes the bond, you know, the level of the bond because it's like uh, 2500 for 25000 you know, like that. So it's like, okay, so you lessened it. So that means this went up. So there's more chances that a nigga might come back or whatever. So I said, nobody will lose their money. Just keep your money. If she don't come back, she just don't. You lose your bonds. You just lose your bond. You just a chance to take don't nobody call the bills bonds and say, who is this? And call out a phone number. Why would I not do that? Why would I not do that? Look what they did to her already. When her car blew up, they called the place, called this, called that, matching tires and shit. She went somewhere else. They called up there. She was in the first mental hospital with the lady that she called Sabrina. They calling up there, talking to the nurse, recording the nurse, recording. So I'm going to get on the phone. They want to use me as a scapegoat. I didn't talk to Jaguar before she went to jail. I'm busy. She's mentally ill. She don't need to be on the phone about nothing because all she's going to do is do this. I wasn't talking to her when she wasn't in jail. You need bread? Holler at your bitch. She got family. She, she got shit going on. She need them chilling. The blogs, I got you. I pay for your shit. I fed your family. What I'm lying about? What part I'm lying about? I don't need to lie. Baby, I got nothing but the money, baby. To blow. To blow, bitch to blow so you go and give them their money back so I could have gave him some of this there's nothing to me bitch why do you think I'm paying actors, black trucks hotels huh, what she gonna do now she ain't gonna be in there two years, what they gonna do they gonna send that money to her son her mother, cause they hungry they meant to let's keep it 100 she was married to the devil. Let's keep that one, honey. Straight devil, that nigga was. But I was not about to get in nobody's business while they was together. And I fried his ass that one time. He never said nothing to me after that because he know how it go. That man fighting all kinds of demons. Fighting all kinds of demons. Y'all know it. Y'all know it. So let's do this. Sean Davey and them got all the money. They can, they can, they can take care of Jaguar Wright. Oh, now they just made a post that said Jaguar Wright said, "What about me?" And that shit ain't true. She let them manipulate. So since she smart enough to know better than that, that money is nothing, because I can show some cash apps, but I ain't that built like that. So they can pay. She's in there. She has family. She has a mom. She has an ex husband. She got baby daddy. She got celebrity friends. She got uh, these bloggers that's making a lot of money off you bitches. She good. She asked me for something through her son. They, got, they can reach me. Yeah, I, I, they can reach me. Let's not play no games. She asked me for something. And when she come home, I got her. Yeah, when she come home, I got her. So guys, y'all heard what Tokyo Tony had to say. She was trying to clear her name. I don't know if she was instrumental in doing so, but you guys can weigh in. Drop your comments in the comment section. I am going to see you all on the next video. I'm over and out. Don't forget to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.